Hi everybody, this is Lee. And I'm just pleased to announce that uh, women will be taken to the streets again uh, very soon. Uh, if you're lucky, it'll be a street near you. <laughs> Apparently the organizers of the Women March have called for a general strike, uh, the date to be announced. And then there's a group called F17 that's calling for a strike on uh, February 17th. And then there's also another group of women calling for a strike for the 99%. Um, and this is going to be March 8th. And so I'm going to talk about the March 8th strike. Uh, Coalition of Feminist Act, uh, Academics and Activists um, have called for an international strike against male violence and in defense of reproductive rights. And this is supposed to be Wednesday, March 8th. And so Donald Trump is referenced in the call, but their vision goes far beyond one man and one administration. They say that um, Donald Trump was the trigger, uh, but the attack on women and all working people has predated his administration. That women's condition of life, especially those of women of color and of working um, unemployed and migrant women, have steadily deteriorate, deteriorated over the last 30 years. And that's thanks to financialization and corporate globalization. And so they're saying that lean in type of feminism and corporate feminism fail the majority of women who have no access to um, that avenue of advancement and that their condition of life can only be improved through policies that defend social reproduction and secure reproductive justice and guarantee labor rights. And so there is an element of not only social justice to this march, but also economic justice. It's a combination of the two. Um, okay. And so the idea, they say, is to also include trans women and then everyone who supports um, women um, in an international day of struggle. And so that also includes men. The men who support women are invited and included um, in this struggle. There are some men who think that this strike is against them. Um, basically, this is a strike uh, against those who commit acts of violence upon women and then those who would actually criminalize uh, reproductive rights of women. If you are not that man, then this march is not about you. <laughs> it's about those who oppress women. The The men who support women are invited and included and welcome in this march. And so basically, it's a day of striking, marching, blocking roads, bridges, and squares, abstaining from domestic care, uh, sex work, um, boycotting, calling out misogynistic politicians and companies, and then also striking in educational institutions. And so they want to make the visible, um, they want to make visible the, the hardships of women of um, different cultures who suffer um, economically. And so they take inspiration from the Argentinian coalition, Ni Una Menos. Um, there was a strike in Argentina against violence upon women. It was triggered by the rape of a 16-year-old girl so severe that she died from internal injuries and she also suffered a heart attack uh, from the savagery. And so um, they're saying that it's not only that type of violence, uh, domestic violence, but also the violence as a marketplace of debt, of capitalistic property relations, and of the state, um, the violence of discriminatory policies, state criminalization of migratory movements, the violence of mass incarceration, which is institutional violence, um, and then also violence against women's bodies through abortion bans and lack of access to free health care and free abortion. And so um, there's a coalition of organizers. One of them is Angela Davis. And so she's saying that um, it's a promise of feminism against state violence. It's uh, inclusive and intersectional feminism that calls for everyone to join the resistance to racism, to uh, bigotry and misogyny, and to capitalistic exploitation. So they're covering um, a lot of different issues. Um, one of the uh, criticisms of the Women's March from January 21st was that people claimed that there was no purpose and that they accomplished nothing, it was about nothing. Um, <laughs> 
all those 2.9 million women around the world, they apparently accomplished nothing. Their efforts were about nothing. It was a waste of time. It was identity politics, et cetera. Um, and so women felt like they weren't heard or understood. So they're taken to the streets again uh, to represent different points of view. Um, and I'll post links to um, various articles that kind of clarify what the women are trying to do, what they want. Um, and again, um, there are some men who are still feeling targeted or triggered, like they think, again, that it's about them. If you are not committing acts of violence upon a woman, it's not you. If you are not oppressing women, it's not about you. Uh, if you are supporting women, um, then you are definitely welcome into this effort. Um, and some men are very supportive of women's rights. They want the women in their lives to have equal access to power. Um, their mothers, their sisters, their cousins, their wives, um, their daughters. They want the women in their lives treated well, um, as well as men. <laughs> Um, and so they want that. And so they are the supporters. And this is who women want to be uh, walking and marching with um, in the streets. And so um, for the men who are still stuck on Hillary Clinton, because I see her name come up so often. Um, and when it comes to issues like these, they say, well, Hillary Clinton, she was an awful woman. We don't want more Hillary Clinton. And every time they say that, I, I say Shirley Chisholm. Do you even know who that is? You need to get to know her. She was a great woman. Um, everyone should know who Shirley Chisholm is. And um, that's your answer. <laughs> Good luck.